Taking a look at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Matt Williams, the first of our main event competitors this evening. Matt will face the Russian innovator and creator of Karjitsu, BJJ black belt Vic McKeeve. Vic is a master of Karjitsu, having hosted nine events in Russia and remaining undefeated in Karjitsu competition. But we have brought McKeeve here to the United States to demonstrate his unique brand of grappling and test himself at Karjitsu Championship. Vic has a big test ahead of him this evening with the tough American black belt Matt Williams, and we are honored to have these two accomplished men here at Karjitsu for our inaugural U.S. event. Now let's head back down to the vehicle and our host, Dallin Getling. to the main event and the car is still intact well enough for you guys to get in there. We have two Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts. We have Matt Williams and of course the creator of Car Jiu Jitsu. We have Vic McKeeve. So we're going to go ahead and do a coin toss. I'm going to let you call it in the air. Heads. Heads. It is heads. So you, you choose. Uh, so go ahead and go around there. And I'm going to talk with Vic. Now Vic, Obviously, you've been doing this for a while. We're still kind of learning about it, but you had to, you had to compete in this one first one that we're doing here. Uh, did you have any preparation? Or like, like this is just second second nature for you. I don't I do not prepare for karjutsu, and I think that's that's just it's a good thing because we can just practice regular jujitsu, compete here mm -hmm. once in a while, and feel and, and be prepared. So, do you do most of your learning just in the matches themselves, or do you actually train them? Yeah, in the matches. Oh, really? Yeah. Right on. And so far, it's been enough. Okay. Well, you probably don't even want to look at the vehicle. You don't need to know. You're going to learn as you go. But go ahead and get in there and take your, your 30 seconds. Thanks, Vic. All right, Matt. So now we had to, Vic had to be in this one, right? So we yeah. had to find a black belt. How did we find you? Um, JT posted on Facebook. I said, Karjitsu, I'm in. It sounds amazing. Right on, right on. Did you know you were going to be going against the creator and like the founder and the guy that... I did, but uh, I'm just excited. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now, did you train at all before coming to you? Uh, I feel like uh, jiu-jitsu uh, works in the car, works at a bar, you know, wherever people are, jiu-jitsu can work. So. Oh, and that rhymes too. Very cool. Right on, man. Well, good luck. Okay. All right, let's get it on. Let's go. The competitors begin seated with safety belts fastened. When the match starts, they unbuckle and engage, using any part of the vehicle to their advantage. Points may be awarded during the match, but have no bearing on the outcome. It takes a submission to win the round at Karjitsu Championship. If the bout is even after two rounds, we go to a third round and possibly sudden death to decide a winner. Okay, Matt Williams is making his way back to the car and we are nearly ready to begin our first three minute round. The first two rounds at Car Jitsu Championship take place in the front seat. If there is no clear winner, we will move to the back seat for a four minute third round. Anything inside the vehicle may be used to submit your opponent and all rounds can only be won by submission. Hajime! Round one. Immediately, Vic McKeith reaches over and blocks the seatbelt of Matt Williams. Matt is now still wrapped in his seatbelt. It's wrapped around his left arm. McKeith is trying to advance his position and get on top of Matt in the driver's seat. Looks like he's about to do so, but Matt has a lockdown on the left leg of McKeith. Matt's now trying to take the, ba the back of Vic. Vic's trying to free that leg. Matt's still stuck in that seatbelt. Okay, now Vic just realized that the seatbelt is in play. He's got the seatbelt now, and he's trying to wrap it around the throat of Matt Williams. Matt has no interest in that. He's going to take... Okay, Matt is grabbing the back of Vic's head and trying to control the posture so that he can wrap the seatbelt around Vic's neck. Okay, Vic avoids that successfully, and now he's trying to wrap that seatbelt around the throat of Matt. Matt is pulling out all of the slack to prohibit that. Matt wants the seatbelt choke himself. This is a big battle between who... Who can be more effective with the seatbelt? We've seen a lot of seatbelt chokes tonight. The most effective has been the Ezekiel seatbelt choke, and it looks to me that that's what Vic is trying to apply here. Okay, now he's got the seatbelt all the way around the back of Matt's neck. Matt is in a bad situation here. He still has the lockdown on the left leg. That's keeping Vic from advancing his position, and Vic does not like it. Oh my gosh, Vic now has the ankle. 
Vic's gonna go ahead and lay back with this ankle. He's abandoned the seatbelt choke, and now he's looking for some sort of a heel hook here. Maybe a knee bar, oh my gosh. Matt is in a horrible position here. Vic is now jerking on the ankle. He's looking for any sort of a lock here. He's gonna extend the, oh my goodness, Matt's in trouble. Definitely Vic's looking for a heel hook here. And there's the tap. Wow. And just like that, Vic McKeith wins the first round with a heel hook of Matt Williams. Now, there will be no break between rounds here at Karjitsu. We only break long enough for the competitors to switch seats. So Vic will now move to the driver's seat and Matt Williams will move to the passenger seat. As soon as they're in place, we will immediately begin round two. Buckle up. And we're off, round two. And Vic again grabs the seatbelt, keeps Matt from getting out. Matt is now stuck in the seatbelt, it's under his right arm. Vic's in a front headlock, but he's making his way over into the passenger seat. He's fighting that headlock. At this point in the match, it is nearly 90 degrees inside the vehicle. You can hear the labored breathing of these two competitors. This is an incredible situation to have two high-level black belts at Kar Jiu Jitsu Championship battling in the passenger seat. Matt Williams is in a bad position with the seat belt wrapped around his right shoulder. Vic is pressuring Matt down into the floorboard. He wants Matt's head down in the floorboard. Matt is now trying- Pass, knee on belly. Oh my gosh, two and now points. Vic has scored Red. two points with knee on belly. Now these points do not matter during the match. The points only matter with the season's leaderboard. At the end of the season, the, the grappler with the most points will face the grappler with the most submissions to see who will be champion. Vic's looking for mount, back mount here. If he can just get his knee over. Now it looks like Vic has successfully shoved Matt Williams' head down into the passenger side floorboard. Matt's in another tough position here. Both of his legs are exposed and also his right arm is exposed. It looks like Vic is looking for uh, an arm lock here, but it's, it's not necessarily in a good position for him to finish. Vic's still looking to, to swing that knee over and, and uh, achieve mount, but uh, very, very difficult. You can see how sweaty these competitors are. The windows are starting to fog inside the car. Vic's gonna go ahead and use the steering wheel to assist himself. Still has the arm lock. He hasn't quite stepped over enough to get mount. We haven't seen Matt Williams for a few moments. He's down inside the floorboard. Sweat pouring from Vic McKeeve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very good defense, Matt Williams. Matt has now successfully defended every attempt in round two. He's got to get himself out of the floorboard. Four points, red, full mount. Okay, we've got full mount from Vic now. There's six points total for Vic in the match. Matt Williams, no points. What a strange position here. Vic's got a lot of options here. He's, oh, and he, it's a calf slicer. Vic wins the match with a calf slicer. Wow. Earlier this afternoon, I had a conversation with Vic where he told me the most difficult thing to get inside of the car is a heel hook or a leg lock. And he has just won two rounds with a cap slicer and a heel hook. Unbelievable. Congratulations, man. It would have been a little weird if you didn't win, you know, with all this expectation. Did you feel any pressure? Well, you know, I guess they call it getting high on your own supply. Uh -huh. I just did. You know, uh, it's nice to have a good uh, opponent who is trying something and that allows you to to perform something new. Discover something new. Two yourself. leg locks today, which I just said everybody that they're almost impossible in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. And it's not because of the lack of the knowledge. This, right, this right. gentleman, uh, really great Jiu Jitsu. He tried to do something, you know, uh, really good defense. So yeah, I like it. 
Very good, very good. It's still interesting to me. You still got it, man. <laughs> Congratulations. Any, anything you want to say to anybody out there? Do, do car jitsu. Yeah. Good, tell, good, good to tell. <laughs> Thanks for watching Car Jitsu Championship. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and support the growth of Car Jitsu in the United States. My name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Car Jitsu Championship. Hajime.